Hello everybody, it is me, Kane, not Kasugi, and today we're doing a Q&A video. I had a bunch of my friends on my Discord server ask me questions, and now I'm gonna answer them. I know, really complex video. Let's see the first question. Who is that one ninja you wanna go to a cafe and chat about PictoChat with? Wow, PictoChat. It's a very, very tough one because it's a very niche. Um, you know? This is tough. Probably gonna have to go with Ethan Swanson. If you check out his YouTube channel, there's just, a, there's a lot of gaming content. So I just feel like he was one of those guys who grew up with the DS and had picto chat. I, I don't know. I don't know, it's a theory, but I'll ask him if I ever meet him. Top five unpopular opinions, just a quick summary of each. Now I did say that this was ninja related, so get ready for five ninja hot takes. Ryo Matachi is not an enjoyable competitor to watch. Kaden Lepsack was the best ninja in the world before he ever stepped foot on the show. Even though Yuji is doing better in his old age, I still think Nagano is overall a better competitor. As far as consistency goes between every single season, Ninja Warrior Germany is probably the best ninja show in the world. A&W Boot Camp was a horrible idea. Delete your account. No. What is your IP address? Okay, so it's... Why do you name yourself after Kane Kasugi? Parentheses, I'm running out of question ideas. Ah, uh, well, it's quite simple. My real name is Kane, and so I always thought that it was super cool that there was someone on Sasuke with my name. Uh, and, and so when I started joining ninja communities and, and the online forums and the Discord servers, I wanted a username that would roll off the tongue, hence the name Kane, not Kasugi. Best ANW balance obstacle and WNL2. I'm gonna go with Rib Run. I actually really like this mechanism because, you know, everything spins or flips on most of the balance obstacles, and Rib Run's an original idea where, you know, it shoots out to the sides. Uh, Brett Sims used something like that for a WNL regional a couple years back or last year. It was either last year or two years ago. And it was with um, sliding, like quintuple step type steps, and they slid out similar to the mechanism in Rib Run. And I really like that because it's just not something that our bodies are used to. And so it's forcing the ninjas to be a little uncomfortable. And so I, I, I think I appreciate that a lot more. What is the most shocking Ninja Warrior fail for you? Well, I don't know about shocking, but the most shocking fail for me is from Ninja Israel because someone slipped on the starting line and fell into the water. They didn't even get to touch the first quintuple step. They just slid on the platform, fell on the floor, and then their arm and the rest of their body just rolled into the water. And it was absolutely insane. Mind you, this competitor is actually good. He came back the next season and made it to stage one after beating the qualifiers and semifinals. It was just horribly unfortunate and very tragic. And I just had never thought I would see anything like that ever. And we did. What Ninja Warrior slash Sasuke obstacles would you like to attempt most that you haven't? I'm going to cheat a little bit. I love cliffhangers. They are my favorite in the world. Like, they're my favorite obstacle, period. And I've only gotten to try some, you know, kind of minor ones, you know, not a whole lot of big moves. And I can't wait to try different modified cliffhangers, ultimate cliffhangers, crazy cliffhanger flips. Once I get that good, I'm just, I'm going to be living on cliffhangers. At the same time, I think big dippers slash double dippers look really fun and I would love to give it a shot. I want to give a true vertical limit a test just to see where I'm at. And then I would love to try something with a moving mechanism like Ring Chaser because I just think it'd be cool. It's an obstacle within an obstacle, so I'd love to give it a shot. Is there anything that would just make you lose interest in Ninja as a whole? No, probably not. Um, honestly, even if other people, you know, lose their interest in, in Ninja, if Ninja Leagues die, if Ninja shows get canceled, if there is nothing 30 years from now, I will still be holding on to Ninja. And not in like a desperate way, you know? Like, I'm gonna try my hand and see how far I can go with this Ninja career. I would love to bring, I would love to do Ninja for as long as possible and be part of the Ninja community for as long as possible. But at the same time, if everything is pretty much scrapped, um, I'm still gonna hold on to those shows. I'm still gonna watch them back. I'm still gonna enjoy them because why wouldn't I? You know, just because something ends doesn't mean it, it's bad, obviously, and so, of course. A lot of people will probably get over Ninja. Ninja might be a phase. It might just be another TV show that they watch. It might be a sport that they tried and didn't end up really liking. And that's totally okay. I'm gonna say this right now. I'd like to live till I'm in my 90s. So I'm gonna say 70 years from now, if I'm the only person in the world who likes Ninja, so be it. Of course, I'd love for Ninja to survive that long. But if not, when I die, Ninja would die with me. Big claims. Big claims. And obviously, you know, they're 
there are people younger than me who are doing ninja right now but you know we'll see we'll see how dedicated they remain as the years pass because i'm pretty much like ride or die let's do it what is your favorite music band kind of off topic but 21 pilots i love them I, i've gone to their concerts three times now and they're just they're great what do you think about Boompei shiratori returning on sasuke 40 that is not confirmed. Do not spread fake news. And finally, best ninja food or drink. Ninja fuel. I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that because I don't endorse UNAA. No, actually don't, don't ever do that, ever. I mean, honestly, I just like protein bars. Does that count? Cause it's, it's workout related, you know, it's something that I would have if I were to, you know, have a long gym session and then eat like protein bars. I prefer protein bars over protein shakes. Is that a hot take? I don't know. Comment below. Protein bars or protein shakes? And just like that, I've completed all of my questions. Thank you guys for asking. Uh, if you guys liked the video, feel free to subscribe. It's been a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'm Kane, not Kasugi.